React Query is a library for managing server states in React applications, and it provides tools to fetch, cache, and update data in our React component without needing to manage the state by ourselves. So let's see how it works. And I will show you some of the importance that React Query gives us. In a simple term, React Query is a way to make asynchronous requests from the backend into our React application. Let's take it that this is our full stack or main stack block application and we have the application that is the front end and then the back end. And then in between we have React Query. Based on this one, you've seen how React Query is going to work. It's going to take a request from the React application. So let's say that a user wants to fetch all posts. The user will initiate a request. Or as soon as the component got mounted, we are going to make a request to fetch that post or the post. So first of all, React Query will take that request and then send to the API. To fetch the data as soon as the data is being fetched react query would take that data and send to our react application to update state with that data and also update the ui for us one thing i like about react query is that it supports what is called caching and then we don't have to manage loading success error by ourselves react query takes care of it but in case we are using redux we have to manage loading error success and even caching unless we do that one by ourselves but with react query it takes away all these complexities from us for us to focus on the main logic so let's see why do we need react query and like I said that it gives us a lot of features. For example, caching mechanisms, which means that when we make a request to the API and we got back the response and display it in our React application, if the user make the same subsequent request, the request will not hit our server, but instead it will pull the data from the cache and display it in our application. And this one improves performance and have less server load. And then it improves performance and also simplified fetching. And like I said that we don't have to implement loading, success, error by ourselves. It gives us all these features for us and also easy data retriever and streamline error handling. And then mutation handling. Mutation simply means it is a way to send requests to the server, either post, put, or delete. And then it has what is called DevTools integration for visibility into our state and better debugging. And background update. And that is real time experience and smooth UI interactions. So like I said, React Query is awesome. And this is what we normally use in real world applications. When we get into it, you will appreciate what React Query is going to do for us. At this point, you may be asking what is the differences between React Query and Redux. Alright, let's answer that in the next video.